on Leon 4, the Texas National Guard stationed here in the valley is being deployed to the Horn of Africa. CBS 4's Priscilla Estrada has more from the soldiers who had to say goodbye to their loved ones today. After receiving a 60-day notice, a group of over 100 National Guard soldiers are preparing to deploy to the Horn of Africa, and the majority of them are from the valley. This is the last time to formally recognize the soldiers for their hard work and dedication to the uniform, to this country, and to what they're about to do. In a special deployment ceremony at the Jacob Brown Auditorium in Brownsville Saturday morning, family members got to say a final farewell before the soldiers took off to Africa. Uh, I, I take great pride in what I do, uh, serving my community, serving my country. Uh, this is my first deployment, so it's a little nerve-wracking considering that I, I will be leaving my daughter behind, but she knows what, that her father's doing great things, and it, I like, love to set a good example for my daughter. The difference between these Army National Guard soldiers and the active duty component is that the majority of these soldiers are on a volunteer basis. So instead of a year-round training, these soldiers go through intense training in a short period of time once they become active. The training, the multiple muscle um, memory motions that we do for training, it builds them up. It gives them confidence in their weapon and in themselves. And that's what we've been trying to do these last 34 days is to really iron out those jitters and make sure everything is just muscle memory and they're ready to go do. This combined joint task force will assist East African partners to counter violent extremist organizations in the region. Going over there to essentially try to help calm things down so it doesn't spread throughout the whole continent or even over to our own United States. And so we put on this uniform to protect this country. And we're going over there, overseas, you know, to Horn of Africa to protect people who cannot protect themselves. The soldier's mission is scheduled to last nine months. In Brownsville, Priscilla Estrada, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.